welcome back my dear friends so today i will solve this uh, super important derivation as far as video examination is concerned so this is seven marks derivation of the first module in the mathematics first engineering mathematics first for all the schemes uh, 2018 2022 2021 schemes okay so especially now exams are for uh, 2022 schemes so they can consider it so this is a uh, p of r comma theta b any point on the plan so p i am taking any point in the coordinate system so its coordinates are r comma theta it, these are called the polar coordinates r comma theta are called the polar coordinates and whenever you take x y these are called the those are called the cartesian coordinates right so here we are dealing with the polar coordinates right so this is a point anywhere in the plan then let o p is equal to r suppose i am taking o to p i am joining the line this becomes your o p so it is length is r so it is called the radius of vector so b the radius of vector o p is equal to r b the radius of vector then which makes the angle to its polar curve when you draw the curve over here on this particular point p so uh, this uh, radius of vector makes the angle with this polar curve as phi over here right so it is written here phi and psi be the angle made by the tangent uh, the psi angle which is made by the this tangent when you draw a tangent on this curve so you know already what is tell tangent okay tangent is which meets at one point on the curve so you have to draw one tangent and this psi makes an angle uh, sorry yes psi be the angle made by the tangent to its initial curve so initial curve is this ox is the initial curve so this uh, line is making psi angle with this initial curve right so these are the points which you have to written in the examination you have to write in the examination <coughs> right then finally theta be the angle between radius of vector so this theta is the angle between radius of vector and this initial line so theta be the angle between radius of vector and initial line o x okay o x is the initial line so now we have to uh, prove this uh, particular case over here angle between radius of vector okay so dear friends let's uh, solve it okay so first of all you should know that psi angle this is in uh, exterior angles okay so this is exterior angle is always equal to the summation of these interior two angles okay so psi i can write psi is equal to theta plus phi over here okay so this is your first equation you should know that okay so exterior angle is equal to sum of the two interior angles right then you can apply a tan on both sides okay so i am applying tan on both sides applying a uh, tan on both sides okay so you will get tan of psi is equal to tan of theta plus tan of phi okay so now it will become your formula tan a plus tan b so i can write tan of psi is equal to or xi uh, is equal to tan of theta plus tan of phi so tan a plus tan b is always equal to tan a plus tan b 1 minus tan a tan b over here okay are you getting my point yes exactly you are getting my point so then this becomes your first formula so i will call it first equation okay then also we know that actually in the maths we don't know that actually we have to write in the examination we know that so most of the students are not not knowing that uh, what will be the next step so we have to write down the we know that so m you already know m is the slope which is always equal to tan of xi over here okay so you can write uh, m is equal to tan xi which is also equal to dy by dx so always slope is equal to dy by dx differentiation of y with respect to x is the is your slope so you have to remember this if you don't know also so m is equal to tan xi is equal to dy by dx so i can write simply tan xi is equal to dy upon dx okay this is your second equation now one assumption you have to do here what is that assumption you don't know the cartesian coordinates y and x in this particular uh, polar curve over here right you already know uh, r comma theta so x comma y you don't know so you have to take uh, sorry x is equal to r cos of theta and y you have to take r sine of theta these are the two assumptions which you have to uh, take in this particular question i will take this as third equation and this as four equation now you have to differentiate this equation now with respect to theta differentiate differentiate above equation or third equation with respect to theta you have to differentiate now it will become your dx upon d theta you are differentiating with respect to theta is equal to this is uv rule uv rule you will be already knowing in the differentiation first of all you have to keep u as it is that is cos theta i will 
take as it is and you have to differentiate r with respect to theta so it will become your cos theta dr by d theta okay then plus uh, your cos theta sorry your r will remain now same then differentiation of cos theta what is the differentiation of cos theta that is minus sine of theta okay this is your differentiation part so it will you will get dx by d theta is equal to cos of dr by d theta plus sorry minus into plus minus this will become your r sine of theta so this is the differentiation of x part now you have to differentiate with differentiate y also with respect to theta differentiate with respect to theta fourth equation so you will get dy upon d theta okay is equal to sine theta you have to keep as it is then differentiation of r with respect to theta plus now you have to take r as it is differentiation of sine theta that is cos of theta so you are getting dy by d theta here okay and dx by d theta you are getting here so these values we will need now okay so you can write a second equation as tan of xi is equal to dy upon d theta i am dividing it and dx i am again dividing d theta so d theta and d theta will get cancelled again so you will get the same term dy by dx why i just divided these d theta on uh, on in the numeric uh, numerator and denominator part so just because this dy by d theta you already calculated here dy by d theta value and also dx by d theta you calculated here now you have to put down these values so tan xi is equal to dy by d theta already calculated here right you will get sin theta dr upon d theta plus r cos of theta this is your dy by d theta okay divided by dx by d theta is already calculated here so cos of dr by d theta minus r sin of theta okay this is your whole term now i will divide each term with so i will divide here sin of theta dr by d theta okay so i will divide this term by this term okay cos of dr by d theta this is sorry cos of theta okay cos of theta dr by theta i am just dividing each each term with this terminology okay so this is r cos of theta divided by cos theta dr by d theta okay and divided by now this term you take cos theta dr upon d theta and again you have to divide with cos theta dr by d theta okay are you getting my point then plus um, sorry minus is here minus r sin of theta you have to again divide with cos theta dr by d, d theta so my dear friends in this setup i am dividing the each and every term with uh, cos theta dr by d theta 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 okay so what will i get here now see here dr by d theta dr by d theta will get cancelled now what will be the remaining term sin theta upon cos theta it is always equal to tan of theta okay plus now r cos theta okay cos theta and cos theta will get cancelled now the remaining term is r and this dr by d theta will when get in the numerator, numerator part it will become d theta by dr over here okay so then divided by cos theta dr by d theta cos theta dr by theta will get cancelled it will become 1 minus this uh, r and sin theta by cos theta is tan of theta okay and this will remain same r and dr by d theta will when it will get in the numeric numerator part it will become d theta by dr over here okay so this is your tan xi now what you have to do you already know in the first equation okay i will take here this is your first equation tan of uh, psi or xi you can say that this is your first equation and i will take this as uh, sorry fourth and fifth equation okay fifth equation just because i have taken third and fourth in this setup third and fourth equations now this is the fifth equation okay when you just compare these first and uh, fifth equation you see here left hand side is all already equal that is tan xi tan xi on the left hand side so it means right hand side will always be equal when left hand side is equal then right side right hand side should also be equal over here now i can compare you see here instead of tan phi what is here terminology you just write down tan of phi is equal to see tan theta is already equal here tan theta then tan phi is here so you have to take this term r d theta by dr so this was your question which you have to prove that tan phi is equal to r d theta by dr or you can write in terms of cot also when you just write cot of uh, phi is equal to 
1 by r dr by d theta this becomes your cot derivation if sometimes in the examination there will be uh, prove that cot phi is equal to 1 by r d, dr by d theta so that in terms of cot uh, you can write down uh, actually eventually in the examination they will ask uh, prove down uh, this uh, tan of phi is equal to r d theta by dr this is your main derivation part so they will definitely ask you in the examination prove tan phi is equal to r d theta by d dr so this was your question okay so uh, if you just compare also these two components one minus so, so one is also here one is also here tan theta is also here tan theta is also here now tan phi is here and this term is here r d theta by dr so same you will get also here so this is the derivation part of this uh, angle between radius of vector and tangent to the polar curve so in the examination they will tell you they will just make the question like prove tan theta prove with the usual notation they will say uh, tan phi is equal to r d theta by dr this will uh, be the seven marks question in the video examination i hope it is clear to you people so thanks for watching my video i'll also share this video to your batchmates who actually needed it